92 degrees, guys, out here, man. Look how nice the clouds are. Nice blue, semi cloudy sky. We had a bad storm, man, came through here. Bad storm. We just had one limb come down. Let me show you how nice and shiny I got. Look how shiny I got that rear wheel. I even shined the inside spool up. Look at that, guys. Got that real nice and shiny, man. Let me tell you something about this motorcycle. I almost ran out of gas with this earlier today. It literally drinks down the gas. It's like every 30, 40 miles you go, you got to put gasoline in it. That's how bad it is on gas. <sighs> you see that down there? That's the back of the oil tank. Here, let me turn you guys upside down, see if you can see the... Uh, Yeah, see the oil tank underneath there, guys? See that square thing? That's the oil tank. I made these. These are out of leather. I also got one on the other side, too. I made the other one. It's like right now, this needs gasoline. Um... I was trying to see if I have a horn. This has no horn. The horn goes underneath the seat. It bolts on to the inside of that cover. Batteries inside of that cover. Um, there is no... I can't even find the wires, to be honest with you. So I'm going to probably... I'm going to have to take this apart and see if there's wires coming out of that button. Because the wires go inside of here, they come out of a little hole, then they go inside the neck, and they come out here. And the wires have to be, possibly have some kind of, um, they have to have some kind of dress, either something that looks like stainless steel or, or wire braid. Or is that? Because you know it has to match all this. It has to match all this stuff here. Other than that, she she runs great. It's just really, I mean, it's really, 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 really bad on gas. You know, if I go to the show out in. Little Washington, Cecil Township, that's 35 miles from here. I gotta stop halfway out there to put gas in it, and when I come back, I gotta stop halfway back here and put gas in it. Here, let me show you the battery box I made for the Honda here, guys. Or the, um, it's the existing battery box. I just spray painted it black. Because the other battery was leaking. The acid battery have bad boys leaking. So that little battery right there doesn't hold the charge. That's why I have my um, battery charger hooked up to it. But that's what I did. I spray painted it black. I think it looks better than black, I'll be honest with you. And since I got a tiny battery in there, I have to have these pipes here. So I have to buy another battery for this and I think I told you guys that more than likely I will be able to transfer the title uh, the police did okay the VIN number on this they did okay it they verified it's a legitimate VIN number and the motorcycle is not stolen so I'm gonna go back down to my notary this week and I'll tell you guys how it goes and uh, we're going to probably keep the Honda Rebel because I don't have anyone that's come to see it so far. There hasn't been one person 
that has even come here to look at it, so we're going to probably keep it. I might, I might give it a different color next year. I might, I might paint it uh, maybe a gloss black or maybe even silver. We'll see. All right, I just might leave it like that. And I think I told you guys my um, my fiberglass cloth came in. I have 12 and a half feet of that by three feet wide. Got this for 11.99 on eBay. We're gonna make a seat for the big dog. It's gonna be about half that thick, and so I'll sit farther back. And it's gonna be a little softer. This seat's just too hard for me. It's real. It's real bad on the butt. So that way there, I'll sit farther back, and it'll be a little softer. And um, other than that, it, it, it's a hell of a motorcycle. It's just, it's horrible on gasoline. <clears throat> you know, once we get this registered and we get a plate on it, we're going to use the Honda Rebel as well, guys. Catch you later.